Hello everyone, welcome back to my astronomy journey. Uh, today I went out and picked up my telescope, which is a Skywatcher Evo Star 72 Pro, um, together with some accessories. I purchased a longer dovetail uh, since many people have recommended me this and other buyers of the Skywatcher Evo Star, uh, together with a finder and some solar filter and a diagonal, which hasn't arrived because it wasn't in stock, but I'll get that later. Now, let me uh, start off with the unboxing. And this time I have actually not unboxed the scope as opposed to last video where I had, had already unboxed the mount. Now, the Skywatcher Evo Star 72 and the other Skywatcher Evo Star series Pro uh, arrives in its own flight case, uh, which I think should be the case here as well but I'm excited to see just how lightweight it is and the size of it since I really wanna bring this scope with me on road trips or whatever. And here is the flight case and the scope itself. As you can see, it says Skywatcher here. Let's take these foam blocks off and uh, let's flip open the case. This is the first time I'm seeing this scope. Wow. So first impression is that it's really small, um, really small. And the case seems to be better quality than the one supplied with the Helios Apollo binocular. I have the 15X70 uh, from Helios. This case seems to be a bit better quality. And here you can see the scope. I'm just gonna pick it out. And one other thing to notice when carrying this scope is just how lightweight it is. Here's, uh, of course, the do not look at the sun, which is uh, on all their scopes. So I'm just gonna take off the uh, paper here, which is done by simply either unscrewing the uh, rings, tube rings entirely, or loosing them. But I think I'll unscrew them entirely. Oh, th th this is actually a smart mechanism. So you don't need to unscrew this entirely. You can just flip it off like that. Really nice detail. Wow. This really looks nice. The focuser, which I've heard some good things about. And the dust cap is screw on. Just put on the rings again. I'll go ahead and mount this on my tripod and the mount head that I got and reviewed or had my first impressions of last video. All right, so here we have the scope set up on the tripod. I also installed the Betar Sky Surfer, which you can see right here. Installing it was uh, quite straightforward. Uh, also adjusting it and zeroing, zeroing it in with the scope. But as you can see, I have the scope mounted on the uh, mount head that I had my first impressions of uh, last video. It's uh, holding up well, uh, but the problem is still that as soon as I release this, it's really sensitive as you can see the scope dropped down. And I also ordered a longer dovetail, but the screws from this one, which are supposed to go on the other one, doesn't fit, so I'll have to order some other screws. Right now, I'm just having it, my scope, in a straight through um, setup. I'll, of course, change this when I get my diagonal, but as of right now, I'm using the 2 inch extender from my Skywatcher 10 inch Dobsonian and a 2 inch to 1 or a quarter inch adapter, and I'm using it with my uh, 1. Point to five inch Explorer Scientific 82 degree eyepieces, which all come into focus. But uh, the scope and the setup in general seems really uh, sturdy and secure. So uh, I wouldn't have, to have any problems using this setup. Uh, looking through it at the chimney out there with my 14 millimeter uh, eyepiece, it looks really good. I will try to pop my camera in there and see if that works or get into focus but my first impressions of the scope right now is that it's really good, it's really well made, uh, it's a lot of bang for the buck, but um, 
I'll have to test it under some under some clear skies, which will hopefully be tonight. I'm hoping for clear skies. Uh, here we are looking from the front of the telescope right into it. I want to end this video by saying that I'll post a review as I get to know this scope more and I've and when I've used it a couple of times. But my first impressions uh, are really good, really promising. Um, so I'll keep you updated with another video in the future. But for now, clear skies.